Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, if you're new here, and welcome back to Taylor Swift Tuesday. Man, there has been so much Taylor news going on this entire past two weeks or so that I had to do an extra Taylor video. I posted it last Friday. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you go watch it because I cover a lot of things that I don't actually cover in today's video. So if you're looking for some piece of information, I might have already covered it. Go watch it. Let me know what you think. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, I'm Lauren. Make sure you are subscribed if your post notifications turned on. I talk about all things pop culture from a positive light, and this is my weekly show where I talk about all things Taylor Swift and everything going on in the fandom. And guys, the rumor mill in today's video is huge so let's just hop right in also i do want to say that i got a lot of comments on my last taylor video on friday about the pink earrings that i was wearing so i want to let you all know that i try my best to link all of the clothes and jewelry and things like that that i'm wearing in my description below i went back and i added the link for those earrings and i'll include them in today's video because why not believe it or not i got them for 13 dollars on amazon and i have them in 19 different colors so if you want to shop those for yourself or anything else that i might use you should go check out my amazon shop the earrings are listed in a section called clothes slash jewelry i wear and yeah, I'm also gonna be linking the scrunchie that I'm wearing. Just that's a fun little fact for you in addition to the makeup that I always link in all my videos. Also, if you are willing and able and or want to help support me and this channel and this dream of mine, I always have included my PayPal link and my Venmo information as well as my newly launched Patreon. So make sure you check those things out. Let's hop into Taylor Swift Tuesday. Yeah. Something that happened last week was actually an update to a story that I already covered a little bit ago. Remember how I reported on Taylor Swift donating $113,000 to the Tennessee Equality Project? Well, Herb Records decided to match dollar for dollar Taylor Swift's donation. How amazing is that, guys? Because of that, $226,000 in total that we know of has been donated to this incredible cause. This, to me, is just like a happy little great example of how good can lead to more good. Taylor Swift is one of the many celebrities setting a great example by donating to causes that they really care about, even if the foundation of the project is a little lesser known. To be honest with you, I had never even heard of the Tennessee Equality Project before covering it on this show, and I'm so glad that it's getting the attention that it deserves. Hopefully this will lead way for other smaller, lesser known foundations to also get the recognition that they need. I thought that was a fun, happy note to start off today's TST with. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. And then let's move on to something kind of hilarious and kind of like, was this a viral prank? Are we being punked? I don't know what it was, but it was really funny. So this past weekend, I kept getting tagged in this video and everyone was saying, oh my God, is that Taylor Swift in Brazil eating a burger? To which when I first heard that, I was like, LOL. But then after I watched the video, I was like, whoa, this looks a lot like her. What do you guys think? I'm gonna show you the video right now. I mean, it really, really does look like her, huh? Like her face, her hair, the, the lipstick, down to every single detail, but we all know that she's too famous to be sitting out there in the open eating like that in a restaurant with no security around her. And her hair does look a little bit different now, but does anyone know the story behind this? Was this like a viral prank? They trying to do the Justin Bieber eating a burrito sideways fake out. Did you guys hear about that? That was actually really funny. I don't know what it was. I thought it was hilarious, so I thought I'd share it with you all. Okay, now. Obviously, Taylor Swift has been coming back to social media lately, and it's just been a great time to be a Swifty. We're loving every minute of it, and you know that, of course, I'm going to cover all of her Instagram activity and the rumors that go with it. But first, I had to show this hilarious post on Tumblr that Taylor Swift herself reblogged and responded to it, and it's it's hilarious. It's one of the reasons I love our fandom, because sometimes, even though we get super serious and intense with the rumors and the theories, we also have this like hilarious silly side where we can like make fun of ourselves and I think that's just so much fun. So it all started with a picture of a pink loofah and then someone out there in the Swifty fandom responded with, it's a loofah story, baby just say yes. And then things escalated pretty quickly. Here are some of the best responses to this thread that are all Taylor Swift and bathroom slash loofah themed. <laughs> yep, you heard me right. Don't say I didn't, say I didn't shower. <laughs> I think I'm finally clean. That's a pretty good one, that was good. Only got the skin so you can exfoliate it off. <laughs> and then this, one, this next one's great. Cause baby, now we got bath bombs. <laughs> I don't know why I think it's so funny. Um, phone lights up my nightstand in the black. Come here, you can meet me in the bath. <laughs> Long live the suds we soaked through. I had the time of my life bathing with you. <laughs> you guys, these are hilarious. I cracked up reading these and Honestly, so did Taylor Swift. She reblogged this on Tumblr, which is the equivalent of a retweet, and she also wrote a response. The sound I just made was not so much a laugh, but a feral screech. This content is what I live for. 
<laughs> me too Taylor us too that was that was very funny I enjoyed that were any of you guys out there involved in this long thread there were more responses than what I just showed you you should go to Taylor's tumblr page and look at it I laughed pretty hard now okay let's get back to this countdown that's counting down to April 26 you guys I can't believe it's two days away <gasps> what is life this is so exciting so whatever Taylor might be dropping whether it's the whole album a single a music video or something totally else random it's dropping this Thursday at 9 p.m. Pacific time so midnight Eastern excited you guys now let's talk about her most recent Instagram activity because there's been a lot since we've last talked she has posted three more photos pending the fact that she hasn't posted something right now while I'm recording this and you guys this drop is just so close I can almost taste it so first let's chat about the chicks yep the little baby chicks that Taylor Swift posted the day before Easter actually and they all had these like sunglasses on them I <laughs> I just have no words for this to be honest with you. Taylor Swift posted a picture of what looks like a wall with different photos that have baby chicks with sunglasses. Seven of them to be exact. Yep, that's not a surprise to me anymore. And I just can't even tell you the amount of theories you guys came up with with this chicken baby chick thing. And I think a lot of the theories I saw were kind of like Swifties making fun of Swifties and how crazy we can be with the theories, but they still made me laugh. I just had to give this picture the recognition that it deserves because what in the what does this mean? What is your theory on this? Let me know in the comments. And then we got another photo from her, which I think is similar to like a brick road or something cobblestone-like with a very cool rainbow filter on it. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of Mario, I like Super Mario. I don't 100% know why, but that's where my mind went first. And then next we got a zoomed in photo of three people holding pastel colored briefcases. I did actually see a lot of you guys say online that you thought the brick road photo was actually the background of the briefcase photo. And to that I say, mm, I don't really think so. When you look at the background of the briefcase photo, it looks like a, a checkerboard floor. As opposed to the other Instagram, it's more like cobblestone -y and irregular and uneven. So I don't think that's the same thing. Hi, so I'm editing this video and upon closer inspection, it actually does look like the exact same floor that's in the background. I know you just watched me say that I don't believe that the background of the briefcase photo is the same as the, the cobblestone Instagram. I just zoomed in and I think it's the exact same floor. <laughs> yeah, I just had to come in here and tell you that I was wrong, past Lauren was wrong, and I think it's the exact same floor. When you zoom in, it looks like the exact same floor. Okay, enjoy. But also a lot of you guys thought that these hands could be Todrick Hall's hands. We know that Taylor Swift and Todrick Hall are super close friends and we all know that he has made appearances in Taylor Swift's videos before. Todrick Hall! Oh! oh my god! That's a pretty good guess. Honestly, I believe that one. And with the fact that Todrick Hall has been teasing us online, he recently tweeted, I am so ready for Taylor Swift to gag the children. They are not ready. <laughs> Todrick, we're not ready. We are ready, but like, we're not. We're not. And guys, I know that I said I originally thought in my predictions from last week's TST that I was pretty sure she was going to drop a single of some type this Thursday. My prediction has changed. <laughs> I know, I know, but like, I feel like it's evolving every single day with these random new clues that she's giving us. But now I get the feeling that we're gonna be getting a music video on Thursday. I mean, these pastel colors, there's three people standing in a row, they clearly look like they're in costume, and the fact that the close-up shot of Taylor Swift's nails, you see that she's kind of wearing like a yellow jacket or like business suit, kind of goes along with the briefcase photo, like it goes along with that style. If you look really closely, Taylor Swift even has like a button that has gems on it, so I'm getting major, major music video vibes. I've also seen a few people out there thinking that she's going to drop a clothing line or like something else really big. Maybe it will be the launch of a new website where we are able to like create usernames and post content. In my last TST, I talked about how in the terms and conditions, it looks like we might have the ability to create usernames and post content of some type on a new platform. Is this the new version of Taylor Connect? For those of you who don't know, Taylor Connect is sort of like a fan forum for Taylor Swift run by Taylor Nation. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. I would be very disappointed if there wasn't new music this Thursday, but maybe it'll be like new music video and something else. I don't know. What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments, guys. And then also, speaking of the photo of her in the yellow jacket and the nail polish, it looks like comments aren't disabled anymore on Taylor Swift's Instagram posts. Have you noticed this? When you click on it, it just says that they're limited. Limited to who, I might ask? I wonder why she changed that. We know in her 30 things before she turned 30, she talked about how she took off comments on Instagram because she really doesn't want to subject herself to like everybody's criticism in that way, specifically on Instagram. So I wonder what made her want to change. Also, what does limited mean? Is it limited just like her verified friends? Kind of like Instagram only for celebrities though. That would be actually really cool. I imagine like a Yas Queen from Todrick and like fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji from Gigi Hadid. I don't know. That would be really fun to just like view. Is that too fangirly of me? I don't know. 
Whatever, I said it. And then we were also treated to a little Sunday surprise this past weekend on Easter when Taylor Swift posted to her Instagram story her and her family celebrating with one of her favorite traditions. Taylor Swift and her brother Austin Swift always seem to engage in this thing called an Easter egg battle. Now, I'm Jewish, I don't celebrate Easter, but is this like a normal game? Because this looks like a lot of fun. She has posted a video of her playing this game with her brother in the past, probably in 2016. And this year's did not disappoint. Take a look. You can't, you gotta, you gotta stay. The rules are the you stay within, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are, this is not a way we play. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, so funny, I love it. Sounds like Taylor Swift had a nice Easter with her family and I love that for her. Wonder who's taking that video. Could it be Joe maybe? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was that just came out of me, but it was exciting. <laughs> and then of course, another amazing thing that happened yesterday is that Taylor Swift was spotted out in NYC twice. First, she was spotted arriving at her NYC house wearing never before seen TS7 merch. Woo! This is so exciting. She's looking real cute with her pink hair. Also, can we talk about the fact that her hair is actually pink? I know we first saw this at the Heart Radio Music Awards, but like I even said in that week's TST that I was pretty sure it was like wash out dye that like comes out within one wash, but apparently it's permanent. I don't know, but I'm digging it. Okay, but the merch though. When you zoom into the photo, you can see that it says Taylor Swift going up the arms, which absolutely 100% means that this is new merch and this is her way of like leaking it to us and like telling us that it's coming. She's signaling that TS7 merch is going to be bright and glittery and flowery and Oh, I'm so excited for this new era, this new aesthetic. Definitely feel like it's gonna be a bright and cheery era. Oh my God, it's so close. She's also wearing floral high-rise jeans by Urban Outfitters and retro calf sneakers by Gucci. Also, for funsies, I've included the links to both of these products down below in case you wanted to check them out. The shorts for Urban Outfitters are actually really cute and affordable, while the Gucci sneakers are Gucci sneakers. So that's all that needs to be said there. I just thought it would be fun to include the links to those so you could see them for yourself. And then the second time we got to see Taylor Swift yesterday was her either leaving or arriving at Gigi Hadid's birthday party in New York. Supermodel Gigi Hadid threw a denim themed birthday party and Taylor Swift did not show up wearing the dress code, but whatever, I guess she can kind of do whatever she wants. But I also think that she just wanted to wear something that would go along with her aesthetic since she's dropping something on Thursday. Taylor Swift was spotted wearing a floral dress and a red jacket, looking very red and era vibey, I love that. And of course, her Jay necklace made a reappearance. Yay, Jailer, love to see that. And then of course, last night we saw Taylor Swift post on her Instagram story, a photo of her, Gigi, Abigail, Martha Hunt, and Haley Steinfeld. So yay, I love seeing Taylor Swift out and about, living her best life, hanging with friends. Oh, it's all, these are all just pointing to good signs, guys. She's in a good place, we're about to get a good album. Yeah, so excited. All right, now very quickly, back to the merch for a second. A lot of you guys noticed last night that all of the Taylor Swift official merch accounts on social media were shut down, all of their posts have been deleted, and this just leads me to think that the new era is really, really about to start. Are, are we gonna be able to get new merch as soon as this Thursday? Woo, oh my God, life is moving way too fast. I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know if my wallet can handle that. I'm just excited to see what happens. Are you gonna go purchase merch as soon as it comes out? Are you gonna wait for more drops of it? Are you gonna wait for a sale? Let me know in the comments below. I can't decide. Obviously I can't decide it hasn't even happened yet, but my mind is already there. My mind is already thinking there like what I wanna buy and if I can afford any of it. And then here is even more evidence that the new era is about to begin. I'm so happy to report that taylorswift.com has yet again changed. When you go to the homepage now, you see glitter coming up from the bottom because there is glitter on the floor after the party and it's just so exciting. <laughs> In my last TST, I talked about how a girl on Twitter looked into the code and found that the page is going to continuously change. So. Change is here, change is coming, it's springtime and yay. Also, here's another random thing that a bunch of you guys have been posting about. I haven't been able to confirm it myself, so I wanted to ask you all if you have experienced this. A bunch of you have said that when you go to taylorswift.com, you see a big play button in the background before it loads, or sometimes that you just don't even see the background at all, you just see a play button. Do you guys see that out there? I personally don't think that that means anything or that it's a clue, I think it just might mean that you're having some browser issues and that Adobe Flash isn't loading correctly. That's personally what I think, but I wanted to know how many of you guys are being affected by this <laughs> big tragedy of a play button. Okay, I'm making myself laugh now. But let me know in the comments below if you've experienced this. I sure haven't. 
And then also before I forget, we received a photo from this last week of what I'm assuming is Taylor Swift on set at the Time 100 photo shoot. It's just another shot of her being cute and smiley with Sam Lansky, the West Coast editor for Time Magazine. Such a cutie in her professional business suit. She's rocking the pastels, of course. She's staying on brand and we're here for it. God, you guys, I cannot wait till we have an actual name for this era. Like in two days, we might not be calling it the TS7 era, we might be calling it the blank era, whatever the album name is, and that's just, ooh, that gets me so very excited, I can't even stand it. Also, it's been 13 years since Taylor Swift has started making music, which is like so incredible, it's gonna be a great year. God, I really hope that she doesn't just drop like a best of Taylor Swift album this Thursday and it's just all songs we've already heard. I mean, that would be amazing, but there are rumors that like she still has to like fulfill that with her contract with Big Machine, but please don't do it this Thursday, Taylor. We need new music. We need new, new, new Taylor. All right, all right, let's move on to the rumor mill segment of the show where I talk about all of the crazy and weird and funny and maybe even accurate rumors that are going around. First up, TS Updates NY on Twitter recently tweeted, Taylor will supposedly be going to Brazil and other South American countries for the TS7 world tour. Some tour dates will fall within the first half to mid 2020, more details to follow. That is so exciting for all of you Brazilian and South American Swifties out there. Again, this is just a rumor, nothing has been confirmed, but I had to share it with you guys anyways, this is exciting. And a tour in 2020, that, oh my God, that's just so soon, I feel like we just had her on tour. Woo, it's happening guys, it's all happening. And then recently, Uproxx posted an article saying that Taylor Swift has registered a new song name with Blood Pop. It's always hard for me to believe rumors like this, so just keep that in mind, but here's what the article says. On the site for Phonographic Performance Limited, a UK-based music licensing company and performance right organization, there is a listing for a song titled New Man, which will come up with a search for Taylor Swift Blood Pop. This song is listed with a 2019 release date and a length of three minutes and 45 seconds, and is also credited to Blood Pop. Now, Taylor has had Blood Pop remix a few of her songs in the past, so this is pretty believable. What do you guys think? I go back and forth because New Man could be a Taylor Swift song title, but it's also a little vague and a little underwhelming. I feel like Joe is more than just a new man to her. I feel like Taylor might actually like name it something better, but then, ugh, actually now that I think about it, if this is a song name of hers, maybe as soon as she met Joe, she like wrote that song then and she kind of like likes to have that song as like some type of time capsule. It would be like, this is exactly what it felt like when you first met him. Maybe, okay, I just like set an argument stance and then I just like talked myself out of it. So I don't really know what I believe on that. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think this could actually be a new song by her? She's done things with Blood Pop in the past, so I don't know. I'm just still so unsure about how all these organizations and like copyright things work because then wouldn't every artist leak their song names? I feel like they go under NDAs when they sign up songs on these sites. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. And then next up, I wanted to discuss Joseph Kahn's tweet from April 18th. A lot of you guys have been messaging me about this, so here it is. Let's talk about it. He recently tweeted a photo of what looks like a set of either a film or a music video or a commercial. And because it's Joseph Kahn, everyone is assuming that it must be a Taylor Swift video. I don't think that this is true. But a lot of you guys have like zoomed in on this photo and been like, oh my God, there's a girl with a ponytail. That must be her. And to that I say, mm, think again. Taylor Swift is very, very strict about photos, videos, any type of cell phone or like camera recording equipment on her sets. Everyone involved always has to sign NDAs, you usually have to do things where they like drop their phone like in like some type of bin before they go to work. But on the other hand, if it is from the Taylor Swift music video, she would have had to give hella permissions to Joseph Kahn to tweet this out. So yeah, I know that Joseph Kahn has been somewhat of a controversial figure recently. I'll just leave it at that but I do not personally think that this is a photo from, from a Taylor Swift music video. Now this next rumor slash theory is a pretty interesting one. A few of you guys out there have made the comparison between Out of the Woods Taylor, Zombie Taylor, and this new pick from Taylor Swift from the Time 100 shoot. Guys, that's a pretty good one. What do you think this means? Slash, do you think this means anything? I mean, when you look at it, we obviously know that the Out of the Woods Taylor is Zombie Taylor. She used the exact same dress. We know that for a fact. Ah, oh, the fact that Time 100 dress looks almost exactly like it in the front it does have different type of detail the way that the like the front comes together is a little bit different but it's the same style of dress isn't it and it's in Taylor Swift's aesthetic of a pastel pink like a peachy pink I don't know I don't know if that means anything but it could it easily could I could very well see Taylor like requesting specific wardrobe to be like recreate this for me but happier and brighter because I am now a happier and brighter gal and then one of my favorite prediction accounts on Twitter pop facts news recently tweeted out Taylor Swift will release a new song on Friday, July 5th. Another one, obviously, on 426 too. And then followed up with, TS7 is a summer album, so there will definitely be new songs before July 5th, but this is the one I know of. 
Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God, this is so effing exciting. A Taylor Swift summer album, guys, we've never had that. If that happens, I won't be able to breathe because this is very, very exciting, but also at the same time, that will push my entire calendar theory like predictions out the window because what else would she be announcing if, I don't know. I can't dig that deep, I have to just Stick with what I know until someone tells me otherwise. But that's really exciting. Obviously, this is just a rumor. This is just a predictions account. You take everything that anyone says online with a grain of salt. But I, oh, that's very exciting to think about. I like the idea that Taylor Swift could be doing something different this time around with this era. You know, she always releases stuff in the fall. That's like kind of what we expect from her. But maybe she'll do, maybe she'll do a summer album. I don't know. Would you want that? Would you want? See, that's the question. Would you want Taylor Swift music now or would you want it late? Obviously, no, that's a dumb question. We all want it now. That's what we all want. We want it now. <laughs> and then next up, thank you to my Twitter followers, Stephanie, for tagging me in this tweet by Becca. Becca on Twitter recently said, am I the only Swifty that 100% believes the theory that when Taylor says, look what you made me do, it's referring to the fact that she put a whole era on hold to address her reputation? Please tell me I'm not. And then other people in this Twitter thread were responding about how we never talked about how Taylor Swift cut off the wings of the plane that said TS7 on the back. Oh my God, you guys, this theory still drives me crazy because I uh, it could be true. It, I, oh, I think it is true. I really think it is true. You are not alone, Becca. You're not alone. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I've talked about this in past Taylor Swift Tuesdays, but when you look very, very closely at the Look What You Made Me Do music video, you see in the background of the last scene, Taylor Swift has cut off the wings of a jet plane, wrote reputation all over it, and because of that, we all think that Taylor Swift had an entire album ready to go and then all of a sudden the reputation stuff happened she needed to like speak about her reputation make songs about this and then she literally scrapped an entire album and pushed it until now oh, i can't even sit in one breath that is a lot to think about but like let's say that that theory is true the songs that she wrote like god like two three a long time ago a long time ago do you think that she'd want to tell those stories now i mean Maybe she would, obviously. And speak now when she sings about like standing up and ruining someone's wedding. Obviously she's never done that. She's just a great storyteller. But my question is, would she want to release another album about songs that have to do with her thoughts in the past? I don't know, maybe she would. I don't know, it's exciting to think about and like I just wonder if we'll ever get the answer to that. I wonder if we'll get interviews this era. Oh my God, that's what I wanna cover. I wanna cover Taylor Swift on Ellen. Taylor Swift on Jimmy Fallon. That's what I really want. And then another predictions account out there on Twitter recently said, TS7 is going to feel like a mixture of Red and 1989 with a splash of Prism by Katy Perry. Um, what? I mean, again, this could all be wrong, but it's just, it's exciting to think about and I could see that. I mean, Taylor Swift clearly wanted to go to pop for a reason. Pop music speaks to her in a way that country music does too, but this is the path that she's chosen. It makes sense that she would want to continue on with the pop stuff. Woo, I don't know, I don't know. That's so exciting to think about. I just want to know what it's going to sound like. That's all that I want to know what it's going to sound like. And guys, just watch out for the rumors out there of things that like are clearly fake. I saw a bunch of you guys like sending around this video of like some guy at a computer listening to a song that sounds like Taylor Swift. That's a Casey Musgrave song. It's called Roses, it's already released. Casey Musgraves and Taylor Swift kind of do have like a similar voice sound sometimes, but it's not her. Just be careful who you believe. I will always come onto this channel, talk about all the rumors with you guys, tell you what I think is true, tell you what I don't even know if it's true or not, but I like to do that kind of thing. But just keep your wits about you and don't spread lies. <laughs> And then very quickly, I want to tell you that another mural has popped up in Nashville near the other two. This one features rainbows and a snake wrapped around a bottle, a beer bottle, root beer bottle. I don't know what it is, but it does kind of scream Taylor Swift, right? What do you guys think? Do you think this mural has anything to do with it? And do you think that the mural that I talked about in my Friday Taylor video has anything to do with Taylor Swift, the one with 13 hearts and all the cats on it? I don't know. I don't know the answer to these questions. I wish I did, but it's fun to talk about the rumors because in a few days, we're gonna figure out which one's right and which one's not right. And like, huh, that's so weird to say. All of this information you're watching right now could be completely out of date in two days. That's kind of sad, but also awesome at the same time. This week's video shout out goes to Taylor Chris Williams. They said, today's TST was my favorite to date. Aw, thank you. I feel like the next few months are going to be very eventful as a Swifty, agree. The last purchase I made was I went to see Pink in concert in Anaheim on Saturday. So to say this weekend was eventful slash exciting for me would be a huge understatement. That's awesome. I love Pink. I have never seen her in concert. I have always wanted to. I didn't actually know she was in California performing. 
God, I need to like get with the times. I'm, I am like stuck in the Taylor Swift world right now. I gotta like expand my horizons just a little bit and read the news occasionally. If you wanna be next week's video, shout out and see your name up here at the end of one of my videos. Make sure you're following me on all of my social media handles and go comment on my Instagram. Other ideas of types of videos and series that you want to see from me on this channel. I'm thinking of doing a video on Billie Eilish because she is just blowing up right now and I'm still a little confused on like where she came from. She just came out of nowhere, I feel like. I'd also love to do something along the lines of like my favorite products from like the month prior, like favorite April products, just because I've been experimenting with a lot of new products and things and clothes and jewelry and I'd love to tell you guys about it. If that's something you guys would like to see, let me know, but yes. If you want to be next week's video, shout out, go to my Instagram and comment a new type of video or some type of idea, pop culture, lifestyle, anything that you would like to see from me. I do want to do more lifestyle stuff in 2019, but I need your help. So help me guys. All right, guys, that's all that I have for you today. I'm so excited. It's Thursday evening. Oh my God. I don't know what it's going to be. That's going to be so exciting. Oh my God. Well, I wonder what it's going to be. I have no idea. That's crazy to think about, but I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to leave it a like. Your likes really help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel and my vlog channel. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Woo!